welcome back to Sundays in the Garden. My name is Sarah and on this channel I share all of the things that I get up to in my English cottage style garden in the United Kingdom. Um, I share things like uh, what I do in different months of the year and what I'm doing in different seasons. So if that's something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing so you stay up to date with that. Um, today, I am going to get outside and try and finish off some jobs that need finishing um, before the weather turns. So I've got to finish painting the fence and I'm going to be digging over some more beds and walking around and seeing if anything else needs doing. So let's get started. My first job today is to plant out some lettuce plugs, which I'm popping in the greenhouse because I'm hoping it will stay warm enough in here to keep them growing over the winter period so that we can enjoy some lovely fresh lettuce leaves in the kitchen for many months to come. While I'm in here, let me show you the roses. Plenty of growth here and some growth here. And the one that was just shooting is really doing well. Now looking at the lavender, it's looking really, really good. It doesn't look like it's dying, so that's good. Uh, I can't see a huge amount of new growth, but apparently this can take a bit longer. So I'm just keeping it covered, watered, and we'll see how it goes and see if I start to see anything new. I'll keep you updated. Now it's time for my next job of the day, which is to tie some roses onto the fence. These roses were in our garden when we moved in, but for about seven years, I thought they were growing in our neighbor's garden because I could just see them peering over the fence amongst all of the undergrowth on our side of the fence. It was only when I took time to clear the rubbish back on our side that I managed to find the roots of this beautiful rose. So I feel really happy and lucky that we have this lovely, lovely rose growing in our garden. Isn't it beautiful? This is our neighbour's cat, who enjoys spending time in our garden, and I have to say, she's really cute. Next job of the day is to paint more of the fence. We're really getting there now. Um, this is the second coat on this panel, and um, there's really not too many more to go now. Now I'm moving on to digging over some more raised beds at the back. My husband's taking up some compost for me. Thank you. This is where the courgettes were and the first job is to clear the weeds that were surrounding them. looking good so now time for cardboard and compost. Not forgetting a quick rake first to make sure the whole surface is smooth and even. It was at about this moment I realised I'd put the compost on before putting the cardboard down. Dull. So I put the compost to one side and then moved it across the cardboard, but I would recommend putting the cardboard down first before you open the bag of compost. One done, with my helper. Now there is actually a bed under there, buried. So we're going to have a go at that one. Mm, wish me luck.
spent. This area is full of grass, grass roots, bindweed, some blackberry canes, and of course, all the random things I'm finding buried underneath here. So sometimes in the garden, it's not all fun planting things. It's a lot of hard work too. This bed hasn't been cleared for over a year. Um, so it really, really needs a lot of work. It's taking quite a lot of my time and energy. But of course, there's always time for a cup of tea, which gives you that much needed boost to carry on and get to the end. One of my smart ideas to keep weeds out of the bed was to pop some slabs down here uh, last year but as you can see it done absolutely nothing at all and the weeds had just taken over as they do so we had to clear those out too. The final part of my job today was to dig down and make sure I was getting out every single um, grass root which was taking a very long time but it really was a job worth doing. The size of the root here is absolutely huge. At this point it was getting late so I decided to leave the last little part of the bed until next week. For an easy win I popped over to the rhubarb bed because these surface level weeds here are really easy to clear so I knew that it would take me no time at all to make a really big difference. for joining me for another Sunday in my garden. Um, it's been a strange day today in terms of it's been one of those Sundays where you're doing all of the jobs that need doing but they're not particularly exciting. So getting on with weeding some more of the beds, tying in the roses onto the fences that I've painted, doing some more fence painting um, and those kinds of things. So um, I'm hoping next week to get to some bulb planting. Uh, I'm also going to meet a friend at a garden centre next Sunday morning um, so I will do a little video of my walk around there and no doubt I'll pick something up um, and yes get some of my bulbs in. I've got tulips to get in but I'm going to be leaving that until November. Um, I've got a big project up at the back where we are going to be removing some kind of some dogwood I think it's called um, because it was put in as a screen but it hasn't really been working as a screen it's kind of got too overgrown so we're going to pull that back and pop in a trellis and uh, grow something up it to act as a new screening area um, so that's something we'll be doing in a few weeks time um, so we've got lots coming up and I have got a really nice idea for some snowdrops um, in uh, underneath a shaded area of our garden which at the moment hasn't got much growing in it so I need to try and get my hands on some more bulbs because I've only got a few snowdrop bulbs so I'd love to get some more. Um, if these are all things you'd be interested in watching then please consider subscribing so you stay up to date with all of those things. It doesn't cost anything but it just means that you will be able to follow along when I post a new video. Uh, you could also hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I post a new video. And if you've liked the video today, it'd be great if you could hit like so that I know that I'm on the right track. Thank you all so much for watching my video today. I hope you all have had a wonderful, wonderful Sunday in your garden. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a lovely week ahead. Bye.